Hey guys, it's Dr. Childs here, and today I want to talk to you about what happens when you stop taking your thyroid medication abruptly, and I want to talk about why I don't think it's safe, and we're going to talk about some of these side effects. And then also, we're going to be talking about four reasons you're probably going to get worse if you take or choose to do this route. So let's jump right in. Uh, first of all, let's just, let's, we'll, we'll talk about um, what happens if you stop taking your medication abruptly and what symptoms you might experience. And it's important to understand that thyroid hormone is given to patients when they have a state of hypothyroidism in their body, right? And so what that means is that you are deficient in thyroid hormone, otherwise you, your doctor wouldn't have given it to you. So in that way, thyroid hormone is meant to give you more than what you're already making. And so it's supposed to relieve the symptoms of hypothyroidism. So it makes sense that if we take that, if we take away that medication, if we take away that extra thyroid hormone that you're taking, then you'll probably start to experience the symptoms of hypothyroidism again. So there aren't any, let's say, new symptoms or um, crazy symptoms like like you shouldn't have a sudden heart attack or or anything crazy like that. You'll just start to experience the the symptoms of hypothyroidism that you were experiencing before. And so that may be things like worsening brain fog, increased fatigue, increased weight gain, menstrual irregularities, increased hair loss, worsening constipation or GI symptoms, worsening memory function, increased pain if you have pain as one of your symptoms, and then of course all of the other symptoms of hypothyroidism. So these are the things that you might experience if you stop taking your medication. And what I hear from a lot of patients, I see this in the comments, I get a lot of questions myself, they say that they've heard people who have stopped taking their medication, they start to feel better. And it may be a tempting thing to consider, especially if you're one of those patients um, who is taking thyroid medication, such as levothyroxine or, or Synthroid, and you're just not feeling very well. You may even be gaining weight and still remaining symptomatic. And you might have a tendency to put the blame of these symptoms on your medication. And so you probably have heard other people who have stopped taking their medication, and they say they, say they feel better. Um, and so you're probably thinking about that yourself. And here's, I want to talk to you about four reasons why I don't think that that um, is something that you should consider, at least not by yourself. You can obviously consider this if you talk to your doctor and he know, or he or she knows that you're going to do it, but you shouldn't just do it on your own because it can potentially be fairly dangerous. We're going to talk about that. So here are four reasons why you'll probably get worse if you stop taking your thyroid medication. And these apply to, I would say, most people. Um, so reason number one is your body may be reliant upon the medication, all right? And so there are some individuals who are taking thyroid medication because they've had their thyroid removed, such as a thyroidectomy, or they've had their thyroid gland destroyed from radioactive iodine ablation. These are situations in which you are going to be required to take thyroid hormone probably for the rest of your life because your body can't produce it naturally. So if you stop taking it, you're, you're going to be in big trouble because you can't get it any other way. Now, if you are somebody who has a partially functioning thyroid gland, but it's just sluggish or slow, so it's, let's say that a perfect world, your thyroid functions at 100%, um, but yours functions at 70%. Okay, so you need to you need to boost that 70% up to 100 by taking a little bit of extra thyroid hormone. So you're, t you're you have the baseline 70% that your thyroid is functioning at, and then I give you a little bit, or your doctor gives you a little bit of thyroid hormone. So you should be you know boosting it from 70 to 80, 90, or 100. That's the idea. So if you suddenly stop take if you fit into that category, and you suddenly stop taking your thyroid medication, your thyroid will go back to being able to produce whatever it was capable of producing before before you started taking medication. Now, generally, that's lower than whatever it is that you're taking now, which is why you're almost always going to feel worse. But that's how it works, okay? But the whole goal here is you may be reliant upon it. If you don't know why you're taking it, don't stop taking it <laughs> because there may be a very good reason that you're taking it, such as you've had your thyroid removed or it's been destroyed. Um, another, uh, a third category I'd put in there would be Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So Hashimoto's can cause permanent um, damage to the thyroid gland if it's left unchecked for a long period of time. So you might you might not have hardly you might have hardly any thyroid function left if you've had something like Hashimoto's. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, your um, HPT axis is blunted. All right, and what that what the HPT stands for is hypothalamic pituitary thyroid. So HPT that is the communication between your hypothalamus, your pituitary, and your thyroid. Okay, and that is the connection of uh, TRH to TSH to thyroid hormones that your body naturally uses to produce the amount of thyroid hormone that it needs at any given time. Now, what I mean by blunted is that when you take thyroid medication, 
you are blunting that system. So if I, so basically what happens is this, under normal circumstances, your body, your hypothalamus is testing the bloodstream to see how much thyroid hormone you need. It senses this amount and then it sends a, a message to the pituitary through TRH to say, hey, I think we need this, you know, X amount of thyroid hormone. And so it stimulates the pituitary, you know, to varying degrees. And then the pituitary talks to the thyroid gland and that's how you get um, thyroid hormone, and then the whole system feeds back to itself, and it alters the amount of TRH and TSH and thyroid hormone depending on what your body needs. Now, when you start taking thyroid medication, you are interfering with that entire system, okay? So you are blunting that system, and this happens with all hormones that you take. This happens with cortisol um, and, and ACTH. It happens with estrogen and testosterone, with FSH and LH. It happens with thyroid hormone, with TSH. So if I were to give you thyroid hormone, the TSH or the pituitary, um, whatever hormone you are getting, the pituitary equivalent or, or, or uh, the message that the pituitary gets is to reduce the amount that it's going to produce naturally. So the more thyroid hormone I give you, the more reliant you are upon the medication that I'm giving you and less upon what your body is capable of producing on its own. Okay, So that's the important takeaway. But the problem is it takes your body a while to kick back into normal once once I take away the thyroid medication. So if you s suddenly decided to stop taking your thyroid medication, your system, your own body might not kick in for several weeks to months. And the length of time it takes to kick back in really depends on how how suppressed it was and your body. And so for instance, one of the one of the biggest concerns that doctors have is with the use of steroids. And you're probably familiar with this, but steroids when you take them, they suppress your body's own ability to create steroids or like uh, cortisol and some other ones, but we'll just talk about cortisol here for now. So if you stop taking, let's say, prednisone, and you've taken it for three or four months, your body won't be able to produce anything on its own for a long period of time. It can take months to, to even years for that to heal back to normal. And so you're going to be reliant upon that for a very long time, which is why you have to titrate slowly off of it. Um, so, you're, so you start a prednisone, you do a prednisone taper. Um, now, the, the thyroid isn't quite as sensitive as the the cortisol system is, but it's a similar concept. So that's what I want you to understand. So if you're going to go off of your thyroid medication, it's going to be safer to reduce your, your dose slowly over time and not just to completely cold turkey go off of it because of this blunting of this HPT system. Okay, that's number two. Number three, your body may not be able to produce thyroid hormone by itself at 100%. So this goes back up to what we were saying previously. Now, most of the time, if you're taking thyroid medication, it's because you're not functioning at 100%. That The percent that your body's capable of producing thyroid hormone may be 50 or 30 or 60 or 70%. The whole goal is for me to give you a little bit extra on top of that to get you as close as we can to 100. But if you stop taking your medication, you're going to go back to whatever it is that your body is capable of functioning that. And so if that's 50%, then you're going to go back down to 50. But imagine a scenario where you're currently at 50, you're taking thyroid medication, and we boosted you from 50 to 70. Now you're still not perfect, but 70% is better than 50%. So if you take away the medication, you're going to go from 70 to 50. And of course, you're going to feel worse. Okay, so just keep that in the back of your head. And then number four, um, th this is an important one too. So number four, thyroid supplements do not replace thyroid hormone, and they aren't as powerful as medications. So I have a lot of thyroid supplements that I recommend, um, and I think they work very well, but I'll be the first to tell you they're not a replacement for, thy for thyroid medication. So the, thyroid, the whole goal of taking thyroid supplements is to provide your body with whatever it needs, hope, you know, preferably things that, are, that it may be deficient in, to allow the thyroid to function at whatever capacity it's capable of functioning at. But if you've had it removed or if you've had damage from Hashimoto's or anything like that, you, you might actually need some thyroid medication because it's damaged. And taking supplements may not be enough to, to get you to where thyroid medication could. So one thing I see people do is they want to take supplements, so they stop taking their medication and just take supplements, and most of the time they feel worse. And so I, I wouldn't recommend that you do that, and that's why. Um, and the last thing, well, there's a couple other things here, but the, what I want to tell you is um, one thing worth considering. So thyroid hormone, especially if you're taking something like a T4 medication like Synthroid or level thyroxine, stays in your system for about four weeks. And so if you've ever seen people talk about um, stopping medication, what they do is they sometimes initially feel better when they stop taking it, but you almost never hear them say after three, after four weeks that they're, feel, they're still feeling better. And the reason for that is simple. It's, it's staying in their system for that four week period. So you have no idea what you're actually going to, how you're actually going to feel until after the thyroid medication that you're, that you're taking is completely out of your system. And that's going to be around the four week mark. So don't get, 
uh, beguiled by people who are saying, I stopped taking it for the first couple of weeks. I feel amazing. You hardly ever see those people say, I'm feeling so good six, eight, you know, 12 weeks afterwards, because that's when it's up to their body to, that's when they're dealing with all the blunting of the HPT and all of those other things that I was talking about here. So remember that. Um, there are a couple things that you can do um, if you, that I recommend you do instead of stopping your thyroid medication because most of the time it has to do with you either are just not taking the right thyroid medication for your body, um, you're not taking the right dose, or you could be deficient in some nutrients and need supplementation. Those are all, you know, plausible and reasonable. Um, <clears throat> those are reasons why you may not be feeling 100%. So step one is to make sure you get a complete thyroid lab panel. This will allow you to look at all of the different areas of thyroid function at, at every level in your body. So you're going to be looking at thyroid conversion, thyroid hormone production, cellular sensitivity. You want to look at all of those things because that gives you a better idea as to what is happening in your body. Um, number two, like I said, consider altering your dose or, or your medication. You might need to go from T4 to NDT or from, from NDT to T4 plus T3, or you might need to add T3 to your T4 dose. These are all potential options, and I have videos on all of these things. Um, and then lastly, consider adding thyroid supplements to complement your medication, not to replace them, but to complement it. So there are a lot of thyroid, hypothyroidism itself predisposes you to developing certain nutrient deficiencies. And just by replacing those deficiencies, you might be able to improve the conversion in your body, the amount of thyroid hormone that you're producing, and it might help you to become less reliant upon medication depending on where you're at. So consider that as well. Um, and then, of course, I, lastly, you definitely want to make sure you're adding diet, exercise, and stress reduction because those all impact thyroid function. So anyway, guys, that was it. This is uh, why I don't think it's safe to just suddenly stop taking thyroid medication, especially not without physician supervision for all these for all the reasons we talked about here. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. I know this is kind of a complicated topic, but I, I, I want to help you guys out. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, and otherwise, if you enjoyed this, please like it and, and subscribe and uh, um, we'll go from there. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.